I'm Bernice Johnson from Angelic Wellness and today I'm going to make a wonderful cauliflower rice with salsa and then a little avocado on the side just to round it out. We start out with the cauliflower. What I've done is I've taken a cauliflower and I've broken it up into approximately equal sized florets and I'm just going to throw them right into the food processor with the S blade. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to pulse it to make it into rice sized bits. And that's why you start out with equal sized florets because you don't want some of it to just be ground into powder and some of it still being big and chunky. So we're just going to start pulsing this until we wind up with just little rice sized pieces. So here we go. with just little tiny pieces of cauliflower. One of the things about raw fooding that I'm not thrilled about is the amount of chewing. So by using the food processor, what I wind up with are kind of pre-chewed chunks. So, and it does, it reminds you of cauliflower. Okay, to make the salsa, what I'm going to start with is usually a medium-sized onion. In this case, I've got half of a large onion. And I've got three cloves of garlic. And I'm going to squish them, mostly because I love garlic, but I don't like getting a chunk of it. So I like to mince them with my squisher. So that's three cloves. Throw that on top and I'm going to pulse it. approximately 10 plum tomatoes that I have cut the top off and sliced in half. Now the only other thing I want to make sure of is I have jalapenos here and I'm missing my knife. That'll work. And I buy these at the market in a container, and I have yet to figure out what somebody does with that many jalapenos. So what I do is I'll put on gloves, clean them up, and then I freeze them with all of the seeds out because I find I have a lot of trouble handling something like this because it gets on my hands and then burns the heck out of me. But if it's frozen first and it's already pre-cleaned, I don't have that problem. So just a quick dice of the jalapeno and you can see that's a full jalapeno. I like this stuff. I just don't want to burn my hands with it. I'm going to put the juice of about a half of a lime and a teaspoon of salt. And once again, I'm going to turn it on. And 
Now this is fresh cilantro. It's just been um, cleaned and I just pulled the stems off of it. And I'm going to take, well if you crush it down, about a tablespoon's worth. So it really is a lot more than what you think it would be when it's fresh like this. The rest of this I'll put in my food dehydrator because otherwise this is going to go bad in a very short period of time. But if I put it in the dehydrator, I can have it for a while without it being a problem. And I do like to mince this up at least a little bit before it goes in so I don't wind up with huge chunks of it in my salsa. It doesn't have to be a huge cutting job since the S blades will take care of most of my work, but I do like to get a bunch of it down. So, clean chop up there, and in it goes. I like using cilantro in just about anything that asks for tomato, because I think the flavors together are wonderful. And, once again, popping the top on. see that is a nice rich salsa. Now if you want to add a little more oil to this you can just throw in a little bit of olive oil but I don't think we really need the extra oil and I'm just going to spoon that right on top of this rice mixture. It does give the impression of something that has been cooked for those of us who still have memories of foods that are cooked. And then I'm just going to take this huge avocado. This is a Florida avocado. beautiful, isn't it? Well, I'll be back with other videos, but in the meantime, you can find this recipe and others on my website at angelicwellness.net. Thanks, and try it. It's good for you.